Ryan Cole, thanks for taking the time. Uh, I took your cross-country teams to Virginia. I think there was a plan behind that. We'll get to that in a moment. But uh, how did you feel about how they fared? Let's go with ladies first. It was a really constructive trip. Um, we had a, a few different objectives that we wanted to accomplish going out there, but first and foremost, you know, you want to get into a big field. Uh, it was uh, prior to the Nutty Comb invite in the middle of October, which always feels like kind of the national championships four weeks before the national championships. Um, this was probably the next biggest test uh, that we had, and it, and it occurred first. So there was a little bit different dynamic. Hopefully, by the time you get to the middle of October, end of October, and then into November, you're a little more comfortable, familiar, acclimated to racing in a, in a large field. But that first one can be a little little daunting so we haven't done it in a while so going to Virginia that was really what we wanted to do I thought the women got out there we have a, a younger team a little bit with a lot of our freshmen um, so we had some of them in our in our top group out there competing in their first big collegiate race as well as getting Hallie Hamilton back into the fold Rachel Kreitzer Rebecca Wissenick uh, Tiari Toller um, Allie Peterson did a really nice job our, our ladies were able to group up uh, I think we we had some uh, challenges throughout the race um, specifically at the end but I also think there were some things that we can work on there that are going to help our cause moving forward but I thought the women did a nice job accomplishing our objectives that we had going into the event and then on the men uh, actually finishing sixth in the race that's that's a pretty good thing and especially considering the other teams that were there yeah similar concept uh, we, we had a list of objectives that we wanted to accomplish going in and, and so I thought the men did that just like the women did um, but when you look at both sides there were about 12 to 15 teams ranked in the top 30 or 35 in the national poll getting votes uh, so getting in there and competing not just in a big field but a highly competitive field uh, that that's the level that we want to succeed at and so you have to put yourself in those positions so I thought the men and the women both did a really good job of that but uh, really that list of objectives you know waking up at 5 20 in the morning which is 3 20 our time to do your team shakeout uh, making sure you have your fueling in order you know there's a tropical storm coming so you're wondering all right is the race even going to happen is it going to be 40 mile an hour winds with sideways rain and you know we, we say that usually the more adverse the conditions are the better it is for us because our people tend to roll with it pretty well uh, but still you know you're you're excited to go and race and then you're like well is it even going to happen is it going to be just very unusual conditions that even though it's the same for everybody it's still not ideal are we going to have to address that and so again just kind of getting back into that routine seeing the national championship course yep. seeing how it runs being in a big field with a lot of bodies having to stay calm you know it's calm among the chaos is what I like to say so I mean you know just kind of getting back into that uh, I think both genders did a really nice job. Yeah, for sure. And uh, you mentioned it was the national championship course. Did Was that part of the reason why you raced in this, just to see that course, you know, that you hope to get to later this year? Absolutely. Yeah, that, that's always usually when you when you set up your schedule, you look for um, there's, there's a pre-national championship. So if you're hosting the national meet, you're going to host the pre-national meet as well um, in mid-October. But we typically uh, go to Wisconsin that weekend. So we try to get out to the national championship course um, early uh, in the season or mid-September, late September, um, particularly if it's a course you haven't seen and we haven't been to Virginia before a lot of our team had you know they've never run on that course except for a few of our people who competed uh, in high school from Virginia um, so getting our full team out there getting to see the course getting back into a competitive field and, and yeah just serving a lot of different purposes and that was what we really wanted to get out of the trip yeah I know it's it's early in the season not really early in the season but it's too early to be ranked number eighth I mean your Air Force number eight I mean in top 10 that's got to feel good but also kind of scary in my mind what are you thinking well I think when you look at, uh, I mean, one, it's it's neat, but it's it's just a ranking, and so you look at how people approach different events. Um, some teams sit people out, some people are redshirting, some people, uh, you know, some teams do really well early on, and then maybe falter later in the season, or you never know what adversity or challenges each group has. So we, we focus on our objectives and our team, and being the team that we're capable of being. Sure. Um, on the men's side, we do have a good amount of senior leadership, but it was interesting because last year uh, we had six seniors and, and a lot of those guys were in our varsity group. And so I think people probably looked at our roster and assumed, uh, well, Air Force graduates a lot. And then they look at the team this year and they're going to say, oh, they have some really good seniors. Again, they're going to graduate a lot. Every year we're going to have really good seniors if we're doing a good job developing our people, which that's, again, one of our, our program principles. So it was it was really good to see. But a couple of the, the runs that stood out, I mean, Luke Combs um, had a tough 
situation coming off. I mean, he ran phenomenal last cross country season, didn't have too many races because he was managing a few things. Um, had a big layoff uh, last track season, didn't race indoor or outdoor, getting back to 100% health. And so to see him go out there and just have a phenomenal run, uh, that, that was really special. Um, Sean Mason coming off, you know, his great track season, as well as being the conference champ last year in cross country and, and being able to go out and, and have another tremendous run. Uh, Tiari Toller's put in a, a very strong summer. So to see her, I know she wanted to run faster, but she had a really nice start. Um, Hallie Hamilton um, had had some stomach issues over the last uh, 800 meters of the race and kind of drifted back. But we're going to correct that moving forward. And she was having a very strong run, so it's great to have her back, and she's going to continue to progress. So overall, there were there were a lot of positives to the run. But the, the ranking, uh, we want to get better. And so whether it's 18th, 8th, 38th, wherever, you know, we have two genders coming in to, to work every day wanting to get better, and our plan is to improve over the course of the season. Fantastic. And the season continues. You get a rest this week, but then uh, after that, it is on towards that national championship. Uh, Ryan Cole, thanks for the time. Absolutely. Thank you.